Okay, so I just did a pour with these beautiful paints and I wanted to show you again what I've got. I've got some Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue in here. That's that there. This is Liquitex Basics Prism Violet and I added some Liquitex Iridescent Medium to it. And this one is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. It's a Americana Decor and it comes in an 8 ounce container. It, I think it comes in the 2 ounce bottles as well, but you get your bang for your buck on this 8 ounce container. It's beautiful. And then I have a little bit of this mixture which is Liquitex Basics Bronze and Creative Inspirations Metallic Copper. I mix them together for this coppery color. And then my white. I've got this a white mixture here. It is 50-50 Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Deco Art Outdoor Living. Picket Fence is the color so it's a little bit of an off-white and it's exterior paint which also means it's eggshell finish. This is based on Melly D's cloudy effect kind of pours but I'm not doing that on this so I'm going to do a dirty pour but I'm going to use a little bit of this mixture and that's one to one. And to all of these colors I added Liquitex pouring medium and water. So you mix your pouring medium in first and then you add your water at the end and I do not have silicone in it and I'm not going to use silicone either. And I'm going to actually use the cup that I used on the last video and I'm going to go ahead and just start pouring some colors in here. So a little bit of purple, a little bit of white. I'll put some of this copper and this beautiful gold and this fabulous even though it says cobalt it's really more of a turquoise teal color. I'll go back to the purple a drip of white I think that'll be it and I'm putting that on that canvas. So I want to show you instead of putting your push pins in the corner it sometimes can be very hard to press them in. If you notice there are slits that you can add these little wooden wedges into which I don't do that but if you put your pin in an area that has that little wooden slit it will go into the wood much easier and it's not so hard on your fingers. So instead of trying to go in the seam on the corner, which can sometimes just be almost impossible to get it pushed through without using a hammer, if you push the pin in where the slots are, and it doesn't have to be even, as long as it's on the corner somewhere, it'll hold your canvas right. Again, this has no silicone. The reaction, I think, is just the pouring medium. And quite frankly, maybe the, uh, the white enamel. Or satin, eggshell finish, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to go ahead and tilt this like really fast so it blended very kind of uh, ethereally almost like a s cosmic thing but you can see little cells starting to pop through So I was going to take my other canvas and press it down, but I don't think I am because I like this too much. What's going on with the cells popping through, I'm just going to let it do its magic and let it work itself out over time. But I am. I'm going to lay my canvas down in the paint.
Ooh, look at that. So I didn't have it evenly dispersed on my canvas in order to do the right kind of smashing. So I think what I'll do is I'll put more paint down on the puppy pad and just go ahead and use up now I'm going to do it again and smash really good I want to get all those corners so that worked I'm just dipping my edges. That way it's all covered. So I didn't put uh, white in this one. I'm going to stick a little right there. I have a little spot right there where the paint separated. And then I have some shapes that I'm not like super crazy about. So if you're not crazy about a shape, just blow. I changed the shape. And I think that is pretty good. I think I want some of this turquoise right up here where it looks light blue. So that's quite pretty. I'm going to leave that the way it is. This one is changing but it's super cool. I'm going to heat it one more time in this area here. So there's more gold popping through. I can also, it is kind of pale right here. I can take a little bit of this fabulous color and just drag it Just add some color there. And just continue to let it change. Maybe I'll swirl it. As I always say, you don't have to always keep what shows up. You can manipulate it. So just by adding, swiping, you can do so many cool things. I 
and it still makes it totally unique. So I'm going to let this one just keep growing. So I'm going to take what's left in my cup, put a dribble of white, finish out this cobalt color here. I'll zoom back out because I know that you can't see everything. this really pretty violet color. I'm going to just do a squirt in there and I'm going to add a squirt of a bright blue. So I took the colors that are already mixed up and I've added more color. And I totally missed the cup on that one. I didn't see my hand where it was going. Let me scoop that up. I don't want to lose that beautiful purple. All right. I have one more 8 by 10 canvas. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the gold in. I'll swish through a time or so. Flip it over. Back in a little bit. So I kind of heated my gold in the middle a little bit too much. So I may have to just totally let it go off the canvas, but I'm going to try to... I'm not crazy about this white and blue together. So I'm going to try to go off this corner first. So that had just enough of the white in it to kind of mute everything. I'm not crazy about it. I'm going to take it and smash it in this paint mixture. I had one area that didn't get much paint, so I'm just helping it along. This is much prettier. And it's funny that I do not have silicone in it, but it's kind of coming down to the canvas in areas, so I'm just going to add paint. I'm assuming it's because it's kind of, the paint mixture is kind of watery. That's why it's doing it, I think.
So I'm going to take this purple color here, that deepest color, and maybe right there. I'm going to blow. Just kind of bring it down to a point. So it almost looks like flowers, just to give it a little bit of interest. A little purple here. Okay, I'm going to leave that. So, because this is so pretty, the colors, I'm going to try to salvage it and take it over to my table to dry. So I'm going to have to do this very carefully so all the paint doesn't puddle in the middle. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below the video where it says Show More or on your mobile device, it's a down arrow. There's all kinds of links below the video that are in every video that I do. And click on the bell if you're a subscriber to get notifications when I post new videos. Click the join button if you'd like to become a channel member and get access to one free video that's exclusively for members only where we get to chat live as a channel member and it's just for members only and everything else will still be available to the public for free so thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye bye